over many years in the care of trees, what we notice again and again is trees die from injuries that they can't heal. When a wound is so large or so vital to the tree's life that it becomes a death injury. Cuts of codominancy, for example, where we're taking out one of the two codominant leaders, for example, you may end up with a very large cut. And maybe the cut is really needed to safety the tree and to fix things, but the injury can be so great that the tree does not have a possibility to heal that wound. So what we've done over the many years is experiment with different wound dressings. Alden Kelly used to talk about his experiments with using a 50-50 mix of chlorine, bleach, and water and spray that on the end grain of a wound to disinfect it. And I think that has merit, that method, slowing down the decay organisms. We've kind of leaped beyond that with our ideas of the plant terpene oils, using orange rind oil, tea tree oil, oregano oil, and beeswax as a wound dressing to try to plug those capillary canals, disinfect the end grain of the wood, slow down mold, bacteria, mushrooms, funguses, and give the tree time to wall off and cope with an injury. So for a long time, we've been making our own mix with various terpene oils and beeswax, but they're very expensive. And it's hard to make this idea available for others to try. But I discovered a product which is very similar to what we've been trying to do. Howard's Feed and Wax, it's called. It has plant terpene oils, it has orange rind oil, beeswax, carnauba and many other ingredients and this is actually a furniture polish. It's a furniture wood preservative and sealer for like oak tables. And so I started experimenting with this product and I like it. I think it works better than the concoctions that I've come up with and we've been trialing it and testing it on tree wounds. And we'll go ahead and take an excision and paint that end grain, just a thin coat, cover the whole end grain, not the living tissue, only the excision cut, treat that wound and give the tree a chance to wall off and cope with that injury. We want to slow down that decay process. I don't think that our compounds actually speed the cambium callus formation, it just allows the tree's response to close and roll over firm sound wood without creating a cavity, a hollow, a pocket, a decay site that weakens the structural armature of the tree. So in our tests with this material, we found it to be very good. I've been using it for a while now and it's affordable. It's seven, eight, nine dollars, depending where you go for this product. And so I'm recommending it to arborist friends and associates of my own. And I'm eager to have others trial it and see if they can get a healing response from the tree in the use of this product as a wound dressing.